What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another Copart walk around. This time, we're recording on a new camera. I just got the new GoPro Hero 11 Black. If you see any difference, let me know. I'm recording in 5.3K and I'll downsample it to 4K and we'll see how it comes out. Hopefully the new camera works out for us. Let's jump into the day with number one on my list. This is a 2021 open range travel trailer. This is, this is new. Well, it's close to new. Well, it probably was before it ended up out here at Copart. We're gonna take a look at it, try to figure out what the damage is because this is one I might be really, really interested in bidding on. This is a big one. And so far, I'm not seeing any damage. This is interesting. I wonder if this is a hail. Actually, I know what this is. I remember what this is. Do not look at that. That's not mine, and I'm not buying it. I, I'm not going to buy that one. No. Nor am I going to buy that one. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with the, with the RVs. I'm, I'm looking more for travel trailers. All right, this one I think is kind of cool because this is a theft recovery. I don't know how much this is gonna go for. This is a really nice trailer. It's got a lot of scratches, a lot of scratches down the side, a lot. But aside from that, it's really nice. Hell, I'm looking at one slide, two slides, three slides on this side alone. And there's the power wagon. Why do you think the power wagon is gone? So many of you think the power wagon is gone. She's right there, man. The power wagon is right there. She doesn't get driven anymore. Honestly, it just sits. But uh, I'm probably going to get rid of it soon. Truthfully, the, the, the TRX, I'm going to have to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but the TRX just kills that thing. Kill, obviously, this thing can haul and tow, tor, tow more, but the TRX just smashes that in almost every single way. All right, do we have any more slides? We do. We have another slide right here. Good God. Yeah, this is going to go for a lot of money, guys. I was hoping maybe this would be something we could bid on. I'm not saying we can't bid on it, but the chances of us actually getting it, it's going to be slim to none. Slim to... Ooh. Wow. <clears throat> oh, boy. Yes, yeah, somebody was living in here, weren't they? Wow. Okay. Uh, good Lord. I mean, it's got somebody's purse. Actually, it's not a purse. It's just full of pins. You got to be careful. It could be needles. You got pills. Good Lord. Met, metformin, 500 milligram. I wonder what that's for. More pills. Good Lord. Look, you buy this, you get free pills. This pill bottle doesn't even have anything on it. Uh, I'm going to say that most likely whoever stole this, I think they got caught. That <laughs> I, I think they got caught. It smells pretty rough in here. Uh, it does. So there's your there's your bathroom. I'm not opening that toilet. I got a bad feeling that there's something in there. I'd like to know how do we get through with this slide? I don't I don't think you can. I don't think you can get through, but I really want to see the rest of it. Th this is one of those, it's so full of of stuff that probably shouldn't be in here that uh Somebody's gonna have to do a lot of cleaning on this. You know what I mean? Somebody's gonna have to do a lot of cleaning on this. There is a refrigerator out here, a revision fridge. There's a sink, there's a little stove. I love this, man. God, I love this. Like, I, I really want this. I don't... What's in here? Just some satellite connections and stuff like that. Plumbing stuff. Yeah, this is... Uh... Boy, somebody's just tore this up is what they've done. Damn thieves, man. Okay, I can't I can't get that to close. And I don't see another door to get in. So I'm guessing we cannot get to the back side of this with this slide closed. So I, I can't see the rest of it. That really sucks. That really sucks because I really would like to see what is hiding over there there's no way to uh, there's no way right you can't you cannot get through you can't get through you just can't get through damn man is there a <laughs> is there a button i can push 
to open this thing? There's got to be a way to get... No, there sure isn't. Okay, well, can we peek through it? Nothing. <laughs> you can't see nothing. Um, if, the, if that one bedroom is that bad, I can only imagine what the rest of this place must look like. And I, I don't have any idea how to, how to work the slide. There wouldn't be enough room anyway with this travel trailer sitting next to it. So I guess this is one, who knows, it may go cheaper than I expect. It might, just because of the unknown. You don't know what is in this thing. Uh, that might work to our benefit. I'm looking up towards the top for damage and there is damage right there. That is bowed out pretty good. It looks like that hit something up there. You guys probably can't see it, but um, over here, what do we got? We got a 50 amp connection right there. Very nice. Uh, the waste is leaking. It's damaged. That cap is damaged pretty badly. Uh, and the valve is, looks like the valve is open. Oh, the valve is damaged too. Lovely. <laughs> So as soon as you open that, all of that is gonna come out all over the place. See, it should just pull and close like that, but, oh. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's like that is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> but not to worry, that's the gray water holding tank. So uh, the one that's open right now, that's left hanging open is the black water. Um, that's, the, that's the bad one. That's the bad one. And what is this? Looks like we got another. So there must be two bathrooms in this, I guess. We got another gray water, another black water. That, that's damaged as well. This is damaged. Those have been run into something. This is damaged. It looks like locking arm. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's a jack. It does look damaged, though. It looks bent that way. You jack it to stabilize. There's a little lawnmower battery or something in there. Well, she's definitely not going to be one that you can jump in and go uh, go camping in. Uh, she's going to need some work. Somebody ripped off the sticker, probably trying to hide the VIN number. Yeah. I'm sure all the keys are missing. Does this work? No. An electronic stabilizing system that is very nice uh, once it's charged up and working though propane tanks so I got a couple batteries several batteries that's weird there's several batteries back there I don't know guys what do you think theft recovery probably full of illegal substances could be a lot of fun for video content I will let you guys drop a comment below and tell me what you think we're gonna move on to the next one. Next on my list, because of gas prices, right? A 2010 Prius, listed as a non-runner, also listed with 159,000 miles on the odometer. These things have a tendency to run forever, guys. So I, I, I'm very skeptical that this actually doesn't run. Now, the only problem, if I remember correctly, is there's no jump point for this under the hood. So you have to go through the trunk, through the hatch. You gotta fold the seats down, you gotta pull some paneling out. It's a real pain in the ass to jumpstart one of these. So I'm betting that somebody probably just said, hell with that, <laughs> it's hot. Uh, or they just didn't know where the jump point was on this car. So, you know, Prius, it gets what, 50s, 50 some miles a gallon? Great fuel economy cars. This one's banged up pretty good. The uh, Honestly, it is. The uh, car is full of hail damage. It's got some bumps and bruises. We'll pop this hood real quick. I'm like 99% certain that there is nowhere to jumpstart this car under the hood that I can remember. I had one of these. I had a, what do they call it, a level three? Something like that, series three, level three? I don't know. It's very low on engine coolant. Inverter coolant looks good. Brake fluid looks fresh which it should. These cars don't use the brakes very much because they're regenerative, regenerative, regenerative braking. Can you tell I'm not with it today, guys? I'm tired. I apologize. Forgive me. Please forgive me. I beg you. 
it, it's a day. It's been a day. I got a long day ahead of me. I got a few hours of sleep and I got to head to uh, watch Jared Go's meet and greet in Kansas here in a little bit. And then I got to head to Dallas. So it's going to be one of them days. So, ooh, Raptor. Yep. So I guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to climb in here and we're going to have to do the work because I, I am actually interested in this car because I, I just know it runs. I know that it does. The battery is hiding back here. Watch, I haven't even tried to start it yet. I'm just assuming that the uh, that the battery is dead. What a pain in the arse. Pain in the arse. Uh, there you go, okay. So you gotta move all of this crap to get to this right here. Don't worry, I'm not breaking anything. It's all plastic and it all moves out of the way. Okay, you gotta move that over. You gotta pull this out and move that over. All right, once you do all of that, there's a the battery. <laughs> That's why I'm saying, if it's somebody new that doesn't know these cars, you wouldn't know that. You'd probably just pop the hood. I don't think that it was because they were lazy. Um, but you pop the hood, you look for a jump spot, guess what? There ain't one. Uh, if there is, I, hell, I don't know where it is either if there is one. Now, we brought a new jump pack with us today. I'm not even going to promote this, guys. I'm not even going to put a link in the description for it because this is more than anybody will ever need. This is the new NOCO Boost Max GB250 Plus, 5,250 amps. Look how big this is. Like, I, I mean, seriously, and look how thick this sucker is. This is no joke, guys. Look how thick these cables are. Good God. I, this is no joke. This, really, you could jumpstart dump trucks, semi-trucks. Uh, obviously, this is 12 volt. They do sell a 20 volt, 24 volt version. Uh, but this, I got this because I'm tired of carrying around two jump packs with me all the time. I need something that's commercial. This is a commercial grade product, not consumer. This is actually commercial. It's designed for what I use it for, which is jump starting tons of cars. So I'm going to climb in the back, hook this up, and then we're going to see if we can get this Prius. You know what? Before we do, because I'm an idiot, let's just see. Let's just see. What if it had power this whole time? Oh, I'll be so upset. Oh my God, it's got power. Oh, dude, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? Yep. I did all that for nothing. Um, so that means we should have been able to have popped the hatch. I don't remember where <laughs> I don't remember where the hatch button is, but yep. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's 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 alive. Check hybrid system. Uh-oh. My foot's on the throttle and it's not doing anything. Oh, and the screen just died. Battery's dead. I think. Yeah, battery's dead. Battery is dead. That's good. The see the screen is freaking out. Yes, so I was right. I knew it. I knew it. Let's throw a jump pack on it real quick, guys. I think this one is going to run, and then I'm going to throw a bit on it. Beat up or not, a Prius is worth having. All right, we got her hooked up. Let's see if she wants to do anything here. Come alive, baby. No. Really? Come on. Check hybrid system. It will not go into drive. Interesting. And she will not start at all. Just says check hybrid system. It sounds like it tries. No. It should come up and say ready. And when you hit the gas, it should start. The engine should start running. It's 
full of fuel. It's got good voltage. It'll go into neutral. Will not go into drive. Will not go into reverse. That's it. So, what if we hold the power button maybe? No. Well, damn. Wonder what happened to the old girl. Maybe somebody uh, tossed a relay or a fuse? No. Okay. Well. Oh, there's a maintenance log. Oil changes all the way to 416 of 22, zero weight 20. Yeah, company vehicle maintenance log. So somebody was taking care of it. I don't know what happened to it. I can tell you this. Jumping it isn't doing any good. So go ahead and turn that off and save my booster pack. I'll go ahead and put all this back together and we'll move on to the next one. Now, how many of you thought I was lying and I wasn't gonna put it back together and we were just gonna move on to the next one? Go go ahead, drop your comments. Now, I know some of you did. I know, I know some of you thought, nah, he ain't gonna put it back together. I did, I did, but definitely comment below if you thought I was gonna leave it. Now, let's move on to the next one. Last one on the list, guys, a 2012 Infinity QX. 56. Are you guys getting tired of seeing the Infinities and the Nissans, these big, bulky, big Bertha SUVs? Honestly, I love them. I, I really do. I have yet to buy one, but I absolutely love coming out and looking at them. Problem is they go for so much money. This one, however, is a non-runner with 200,000 miles on the odometer. And I can tell you right now, she's got a good set of Goodyear Wrangler tires all the way around with good tread. And the body looks absolutely phenomenal. And I'm not worried about 200,000 miles on something like this. I'm really not. It doesn't concern me. This thing is absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. Um, let's take a look at the interior. Like I said, look at them tires, man. Tell me those things do not look excellent. I mean, those things are in, those things are in great shape. How bad's the interior? It smells a little, a little rank. It does smell a little rank. You got your third row back there. Headliner looks good. Sunroof, screens in the back. Interior looks pretty damn nice. Door panels look good. This thing is, this is nice, guys. This is nice. Not to say that there's not something wrong with it. I'm sure there is. It's probably how it ended up here, but this is a nice one. I wonder what this is going for. This would be fun to try to fix. I like it. All right, well, first thing we'll do before jump, jumping uh, to pulling out that Big Bertha booster pack. Yeah, she's not gonna do nothing. She's dead as a doornail. Dead as a doornail, okay. Where's the hood release? There it is. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. We'll pull out Big Bertha. I think that's my new name for that booster pack. I'm just gonna dub it Big Bertha. Oh my God. <laughs> Speaking of Big Bertha, <sighs> these hood shocks don't hold the hood up. So uh, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the camera down and we'll come back when we got Big Bertha hooked up. All right, we got Big Bertha hooked up. So she should have power. Now, if it doesn't have power, I'll be excited because that probably means it's just a blown. Aha, uh -huh. no power. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me turn on the, uh, the flashers so that I can get some kind of notification on the outside that something is working. The booster pack is hooked up. Now there's a lot of corrosion could be corrosion. No, uh-uh. She's got no power at all. Very interesting. So, this could be a blown fuse. Do you hear that noise? You remember when I said it could be a blown fuse? Well, I bypassed 
one of the main fuses on this vehicle. And we have hazard lights. Up. She comes to life. Now she doesn't start, and I wouldn't expect her to, but we do have access. Yeah, we have access to everything. We can, we can fix this, guys. <laughs> we can fix this. Yeah, she's not gonna start because we have bypassed one of the fuses, but when you push the button, everything does come to life. You got your screen over here. I know it's hard to see because of the sun, but we do have all of our lights coming on down here. We sure do. This is interesting. How did they know it had 202,000 miles on the odometer? Important window works. That one works too. This is, uh, this is intriguing. Very intriguing. So when I put the uh, jump pack right here on the terminal, it wouldn't do anything. But when I stick it over there to that side, it would. So I'm assuming we've got at least one, maybe two. In fact, I can see this is a, a 140 amp. That's blown. This one looks like it's still good. Let me see if I can work some magic here. We're gonna try this one more time. I, I think I think I figured out a way to make this work. I think she'll start now. Come on. No? Not gonna happen, huh? Interesting. I hear the fuel pump, but we're getting nothing from the starter at all no no starter engagement at all well keep in mind i don't want you guys to think i'm out here working on this i'm not i'm not i don't have any tools i'm not out here wrenching on anything just things that i'm observing so we're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to try to start this i'll show you what i did it's just an idea I thought since I was only accessing the terminal on the left side over there, what I needed to do is extend my booster pack clip, um, my, my whatever you want to call it, the jaws of life there, um, and clip onto both sides, which I did. Um, but unfortunately, that did nothing to bring the starter back to life. So we've definitely got a blown 140 amp fuse. That tells me something somewhere went wrong. Maybe somebody hooked a jump pack up backwards or something to this. Uh, so there may be more. There may be more going on. I'm going to bet there's another fuse blown somewhere that goes directly to the starter. I don't believe for a minute this doesn't run. I don't. I could be wrong. I could absolutely be wrong. But this one, I just, I just feel like this one could run, guys. So I'm going to put this on the list. This is one I think I'm, I'm willing to bid on. We'll take a risk on it and see if we can get it running. That's it for this one, which means we are done with the video. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos. I do appreciate it. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Share the video on social media with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I would surely appreciate it. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.